bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesia Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, Creations in Sky, Sea, and Land. Our scriptures are found in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 14 through 25. This week's lesson starts by taking us into the fourth day of creation. Within the first three days of creation, we have seen that God, as the one and only creator, has established laws like gravity and time, boundaries such as how far the waters can come inland, order so that the living things of creation will know their place, and systems allowing continued life and existence of living things by reproduction through seed, time, and harvest. God spoke what he had in mind and had already thought its purpose through before letting his creative artistic power come forth. Now the fourth and fifth days of creation demand our undivided attention. Why? Because it is within these days that God stacks or multiplies his creative process. The things that he created on days one through three will now be used to assist the things created on days four and five. Creatures are now created with the seed system built in so that they too can reproduce more of their own kind. God factored in what would exist and for how long, and knew its date and time of extinction. Genesis 1 and 22 says, And God blessed them. God did not use these words during the first three days of creation. The heavens, or the earth's atmosphere as we call it, the waters and the grass and herbs, didn't need that particular gift of God's spirit. They were created by the Holy Spirit in a way that enabled them to get what they required from the greater and lesser light, and that which came before them. When God blesses someone or something, as the word is used here, he has given that animal or being a supernatural anointing to do what he commanded it to do. That gift is a special empowerment that allows a flesh and blood creature to be fruitful or to be productive, as well as to give birth. For the words say, be fruitful and multiply. These are two different things. In Genesis 1 and 14, when God says, let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, he is not just talking about winter, spring, summer and fall. God is also talking about being aware of Sabbaths, warnings of coming events, and signaling that the changes of ages and dispensations will occur, and that these 
would be a way to note that the birth of Jesus the Christ is at hand. Leave us a comment if you've learned anything from this week's lesson that has helped you. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.